Hello there, and welcome to A Little Nightmares 3 video, guys. I know something you guys are not expecting. Some of you are going to be like, what the hell, this ain't a, this is Jurassic Channel, what the hell is he doing about this? Well, the second is because I am a huge fan of Little Nightmares, like the whole franchise, from the games, comics, and like, even like, there's been like, there's been a, rumors about a movie or sh TV show, which don't really know what that's about. Just finished um, film school, guys. Like, I'm finally out there. Like, now I'm just looking for film work, which, given all the strikes in America and stuff, they are still affecting Canada. But you know what? I'll find some work. But let's waste no more time. We've got a trailer, and then we've got a website to look at, and then, of course, theories to come, because this franchise is known for that. So let's get into it. Look, oh, look at this color palette, man. I remember cool. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, this is like a desert or something. Super oh, who are these guys? All oh, the mirror. I saw an image about this thing. Of course, with oh, umbrella. Whoa. Oh, oh, we got the, um, fat people, or obese people get- oh, whoa. What was that? Oh my god, this sounds so terrifying. They're going into a man. What the- What the hell is that? It's like a giant baby of hell. Oh, they went into they went into a mirror. Whoa, what little nightmares? Oh, that's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna. I. I don't know what to say. That looks... That looks really strange, but... I mean... Like, my god, like, this color palette, like... Is very different. It, it seems like we're in, like, a desert or something. Like, um... Yeah, it's like a full-on desert or something, like... Apocalyptic, like... I don't know, like, it's way different from the moor or, um, the, um, city from Little Nightmares 2 with the, um, with the tower and such. Like, this is completely, like, apocalyptic, like, it's been like this for decades and, like, which, of course, they use a desert for that, because, like, that's how everyone sees the apocalypse. It's once the deserts reach you, you know you're done for, but, like, that looks amazing. So we got two characters in this, and, like, it seems like they have a mission regarding, like, this weird mirror or something. I don't know what it is, but, like, you see them actually, like, one of them pushing towards it, like, at the 46 second mark, and, like, he directs his other friend, and you see, like, this other mirror, like, it just is, like, full of darkness and it looks so weird, and, like, I saw an image, like, of a poster that, like, showed, like, a sort of amusement park, which maybe that's where we are, like, we're at an abandoned amusement park, which, oh, that gives me a theory on, like, maybe it's gonna be more involved with, like, the children and the corruption that involves them, because, like, for me, one of my theories is, like, each location is dealt with, um, different sort of effects on adults like the, the more it's like about people's greed and hunger and such Little Nightmares 2 was all about like the tower and such and like TVs and like corruption from them like people were being hypnotized but for both of those we only saw that really from like other than like the main characters like Mono and Six all the other children we didn't really see like actual children like affected by those things and maybe this one would go against it? Like, maybe, like, we saw, like, some of those, like, giant, like, obese people again, like, later on in the trailer. So, like, we're gonna see them again, which, oh my god, those things were, those people were terrifying in the first game. Like, I can't imagine them out in the open world. But, like, are we gonna see, like, them, 
go into more of the children corruption because like they're at an amusement park and like they're using this mirror so like maybe this mirror is something to look inside themselves i don't know i'm not going to speculate too much on this one i'll do like a proper theory breakdown sort of thing because i got a theory already working in my brain as you can hear but let's go to the website little nightmares 3 which genres atmospheric adventure and the developer is Supermassive Games, which they were attached to the second one. Like, it does show, yeah, Supermassive Games. But I guess they're part, no longer partnered with uh, the other um, developer company. But, oh, we got the eye. Oh, the eye is involved somehow again, which I wonder, I wonder if they'll go the route of the second one and make it a prequel. Or is it going to be like a full sequel? Will we even see Six or Mono in any way, shape, or form? God, I, I, I kind of hope not. I'm kind of in the 50-50 on that. Like, I hope they do, but I hope they don't. You know what I mean? Because, like, they were great characters, but, like, Six's story was, like, properly complete, unless this is, like, a further back prequel or something. I don't know, but let's read what the website has to say. Embark on a new... Hold on, hold on, let's get the voice. Embark on a new adventure in the unique world of Little Nightmare. In Little Nightmares 3, you follow the journey of Lo and Alone as they search for a path that could lead them out of the nowhere. Okay, okay, well, pause the voice, pause the voice. So we got their names, Lo and Alone, which... That's gotta mean something. Like, Six, like, her name represented the fact that I think she was the sixth version of the lady to take over the mall. And, like, Mono is, like, referencing, like, TV and, like, tracks. Like, monotone, stereotone, and all that mambo-jumbo. So, like, is this, like, to represent... Like, this place looks like the apocalypse. So, like, low and alone, like... It's gotta mean something. I gotta... I'm gonna look through it and, like, oh my god, I got a bunch of theory stuff. But they're in the nowhere, which... That's interesting, like, it, from this, like, website, it looks like they're, like, in an amusement park, like, full of, like, dead bodies and stuff, like, that's disgusting. And, like, there's this mirror. This mirror means something, but I'm not sure what yet. It's driving me crazy already, and I still have to wait till 2024. Good God. But, let's continue. Trapped within the spiral, a cluster of disturbing places, the two friends will have to work together to survive in a dangerous world full of delusions and escape the grasp of an even greater threat lurking in the shadows. For the first time in the franchise, face your childhood fears together with a friend using online co-op or solo with an AI companion. Oh my god, okay, so you can play with someone else. This is the first time we're getting a Little Nightmares game where it's not like an individual player. You can play with a partner, which, it makes sense that it's this one. Like, I know some people, some people may have wanted it for Little Nightmares too, but like, really, what were you going to do with Six and such? Like, her story was like separate, and besides, then if you're playing, um, Little Nightmares 2, and you get to that ending really awkward. You look at the guy beside you, or Dal, and you're like, You just did that to me? I didn't mean to. I lost control. God, that would be so funny. But this one, this one's very interesting. So, it says that it's a, they are in a world of dangerous delusions. So, maybe this mirror, maybe it's like an amusement park, because like, when you get into, like, the mirror, um, areas and, like, fun houses or amusement parks, you always, like, it's always, like, look into yourself, see yourself or something. Maybe that's what it's leaning into, which, if it is, what is the purpose of it? Because, like, with Mono and such, like, the TVs and stuff, and the Thin Man, it was to, like, hypnotize those around them, like, to allure them with the static or something, the signal tower and such. But, and the more, it was like the desire for sustenance, the hunger that the beings there had and such. That was what it is. So is this like, 
going into someone's soul or something. Because, like, we did mirrors with um, the lady in the first game, but maybe this is, like, much deeper. Maybe they'll go into why it was such an effective thing for her. I don't know, like, this thing's got to be connected somehow. Like, they won't... I doubt they'll keep this, like, fully separate from, like, the other ones. There's got to be a connection somewhere. Like, obviously the eye is, like, involved. Like, you can literally see the eye is on like this, so I don't know, but let's go, let's keep seeing. So like, also for those wondering what consoles, it's like all the main consoles, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch. Face your childhood fears together. Choose from two brand new characters, each equipped with their own iconic items. We saw that in the trailer, like the umbrellas and stuff, they'll probably have more. Play solo with an AI or with your friend using online co-op and work together to solve intricate puzzles and defend yourself against smaller enemies. Okay, so smaller enemies, I feel like that's going to involve kids somehow. Like, maybe not like the porcelain dolls that were in the um, teacher's um, area in Little Nightmares 2, but something similar's got to be like that. I feel like it is. Just from like what this is. Navigate through a brand new world of delusions. Embark an adventure through the spiral, a cluster of dystopian lands. Well, we can definitely tell that from like this, but looks like looks like it's gonna be very popular. Discover places as diverse as the mysterious desert of Necropolis, ooh, of, and an unse unsettling fun fair, a gloomy factory, and who knows what else. Okay, so what's so other than the mirror, what's gonna be connecting this place, like this like apocalyptic area? Because like with Little Nightmares too, they had the tower, and like they had the more. Follow the journey of Low and Alone. Meet Low and Alone, and learn more about the boy and in the Raven Nest and the girl with pigtails. Okay, so so the guy with the the one with the crow, that's that's Low. And then alone is the girl with pigtails and such. And it looks like from this image she's got a freaking pig mask or something. Jesus. Guide the two friends through a menacing world as they search a way out of the nowhere. Oh god. Why do I have a feeling that they're gonna just be like, Oh, you guys are so screwed or something. But this is coming out in 2024. Judging from when the last game came out, it will probably be like February at the end like that was when it released but that's gonna have to wrap up this video I know it's like I, I am recording for like already 17 minutes but I'll probably short it down a lot I'll do like some theory videos and stuff as well maybe see how it might connect with the other ones and stuff what this mirror is and such who knows and we'll also get back to Jurassic content as well I know you guys want that but trust me we've got some special stuff planned for that and more but if you've enjoyed this video guys I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Um, join the Patreon as well while you're at it, if you choose to. And until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye